Man sets up camera after food goes missing, but was left astonished when he saw the recording. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. We can't be sure of anything that goes around us, and what makes us say that is this story of a guy who jumped to the conclusion which he thought was right, but little did he know there was something else that was the reason behind everything that was happening to him in his house. For some reason, he kept ignoring the situation, but when he had enough, he decided to do something about it. He installed CCTV cameras inside his house to catch the real culprit but was left surprised to see the real reason behind everything that has happened inside the house. What could it be? Something normal or paranormal? You decide. Joe Cummings and his girlfriend live in a beautiful apartment in Manhattan. They both are really happy with their new place, but soon this place started to show its real face when strange things started to happen in the house. As expected, they didn't give it much attention in the start, but when the situation got out of hands, Joe did something which he felt was right at that moment, only to find out that there was something more to it. Joe and his other half were out for dinner to enjoy their special night and returned late in the night. He switched on the light in the living room to settle down after a long night before they both go to bed. Joe was sure that he left the coffee mug in the kitchen before he left that night, but to his surprise, the mug was on the table in front of him, which was half filled. He ignored it, thinking that it might be his girlfriend who drank coffee after him while he was getting ready. He didn't give it much of thought, as he was feeling really tired. He straight away went to bed to sleep. The coffee mug was just a start. There was more which was about to come into their lives that shocked them to the core. Joe Cummings is a professional actor based in New York City, who is known for his work in Rapto Hunter Winter Edition, Nightwing, Escalation, and the eyes of Horus. Joe had been working on some other productions too, but this video, which we have uploaded at the end of the article, was before he was a professional actor. This video was watched by over 6 million people on YouTube, but what made him install CCTV cameras inside the house? What was he looking for? Joe's girlfriend was out with her friends and he wasn't able to locate his stuff, which usually could be found when his girlfriend tells him where to look. But today, even when he knew where stuff could be, he couldn't find them. His clothes cupboard was messy and some of the clothes even fell down when he opened it. Last he remembered, he didn't leave his clothes like this. Some, yes, but not every clothing he owns. Frustrated, he left the apartment only to see some more unusual activities. In the end, he had to record to find out the real reason behind the activities he faced. The video is at the end of the article if you really want to see what the real reason and believe us you'll be surprised. Joe started to see some unusual activities inside of his house, which he wasn't aware of. But who could be behind all these strange activities? He'd soon find out. He found his clothes inside the cupboard in all messy conditions and some days he didn't even find some of his clothes which was strange, but even then he didn't think about it much. Soon, other things started to happen which ended in a very unexpected situation. Joe was ready to sleep in the night and was prepared to go to bed when he saw the lights of the hall room were on. He was sure that he switched them off, but he shrugged off the feeling and went to bed to sleep. He was so tired that he didn't even try to switch them off. He could sense that something wasn't right, but it was already late, and he had no intention of solving the mystery behind who switched on the lights. It was for his own good that he didn't investigate it further because if he would have, then something terrible could have happened to him. Joe was taking a bath when he heard some footsteps outside. He thought it must be his girlfriend, but she wasn't responding to him. He kept shouting from the inside, who's there? But there was no response from the other side. Joe thought his girlfriend was angry or something, so he rushed to come outside the bathroom, but there was no one. Puzzled with the situation he was in, he was sure that he heard some footsteps, but there was no one in the room. Joe thought his girlfriend left as soon as he came out. He called her, but there was a network in the house. What's really happening? He found out soon. Joe was sitting on the couch watching some horror movies on TV with a glass of wine in his hand when he heard some footsteps which were coming from the room above. 
The wine was already playing with his head. He tried his best to stay in his senses, but couldn't. He felt like somebody was running in the above room, and Joe was scared as hell. He picked up his silver-colored baseball bat and moved towards the stairs to go to the room above him. He switched on his lights, but there was no one. But the condition of the room was not the same anymore. Who was here? After watching his bedroom's condition like someone was really angry and made sure to hit everything in sight, the bed sheets were on the floor and pillows were torn apart along with the curtains. Joe could feel the wine moving from out of his body along with sweat. He gulped his saliva in nervousness and left the room in a rush. Who was there? He was alone in the house, and after that, it was impossible for him to sleep. He remembered that the same thing happened to him the other day while he was in the bathroom when he heard some footsteps in the room just outside the attached bathroom. But what happened next changed everything for Joe and everybody who watched the video he had to record to solve the mystery. The video is at the end of the article. Things started to get really serious and frightening when Joe had no idea where all of his food went. After the footsteps incident, Joe started to pay attention to the surrounding of his house and found out that his food was vanishing. He restocked his fridge, but to his surprise, the food just vanished into thin air. He knew that he just can't eat this much of food every day and it has to be someone else. But who is doing all of this? He wanted to move out of the house, but he wanted to solve the mystery behind everything. He did solve it and recorded to prove his claims. The video is at the end of the article. You'll be shocked to see the reason behind everything. Joe was sure that he didn't eat all the food that had vanished from his refrigerator, but he had no answer for the mystery behind missing food. Every day he brought some food and stacked inside the fridge. The next morning, half of it wasn't there. Things started to heat up and Joe was getting frustrated with everything. He loved his apartment, but the place had started to bite him. His mind started to question everything and soon he got the answer he was looking for. Joe and his girlfriend were in a healthy relationship and why wouldn't they be happy? They were living in one of the most desirable cities in the world, the Big Apple. They pretty much had everything, except the food, which vanished like anything, leaving no clue behind. One night, Joe was sleeping when he heard the same footstep noises which were coming from the kitchen. He ran toward the kitchen to catch the thief, but shockingly, there was no one and the food was too gone from the fridge. He was irritated with the daily routine of vanishing food and did what he needed. He set up some cameras and recorded the culprit, and he was completely left astonished when he saw the video. What did he see? Joe wasn't thinking straight because of the sleepless nights he had spent to catch the culprit. He even accused his girlfriend of stealing his food, and as expected, she didn't take it really well. Things started to heat up between both of them. She kept denying the accusation Joe made on her, but he needed to be sure and was determined to find the reason behind the mystery. Who has been wandering inside the house without his permission? He found out really soon and he made sure that he caught whatever it was red-handed. He recorded every detail and the outcome of the video was really shocking for everybody. You know where you can find the video. After Joe accused his girlfriend of being a thief, she wasn't able to digest it and stayed away from Joe. He was alone in the house, surrounded by the mystery that was going on inside his house, which he needs to solve before he goes completely crazy. His apartment, which he has loved wholeheartedly, felt stranger to him. He was alone in the house and things started to scare him even more. When he saw the recording, he was left stunned. What did he see? Unable to live his life with so many doubts in his head was another struggle in his life. Even his girlfriend, who stuck to her story and denied everything related to stolen food and kept her distance from Joe. He wasn't thinking straight. He kept asking the same question, who could be behind all this? He thought of the possibility of ghosts doing these strange things in his house, and he even considered an animal responsible behind all this. But that can't be true as he always closes the windows and doors before he goes to bed. He was sure of the fact that whoever was doing all this was still in the house, and he needs to find out who that was. And when he did, his every belief shook to the core. Joe's relationship was on the table and he needs to win the bet anyhow. So he installed several cameras in every corner of his house to record all the strange things that were happening in the house. He didn't even tell his girlfriend about his plan for obvious reasons, and deep inside his heart, he knew that his girlfriend was right. But what would she gain from stealing his food? Joe was prepared with his plan, but wasn't prepared for what was coming to him. The recording showed some strange truth about the house, and you can see it all in the video at the end of the article. 
you'll be shocked to see what the recording revealed. Everything was set, and to catch the person, he even installed a few night vision cameras in the house. He was ready to catch the thief and was hoping that it shouldn't be his girlfriend. In the recording, which is at the end of the article, you can see Joe moving away from the camera after installing them. The kitchen was empty, and after some time, somebody came into the kitchen, and he couldn't believe his eyes. What did they see? He was watching the footage on his laptop when he saw something coming down from the upper level closet of the kitchen. This person with long hair was coming down from the closet and moved towards the refrigerator. That person was looking like Joe's girlfriend and he couldn't believe that she was lying to him in his face all this time, but little did he know the footage was about to show him something more. Joe saw this long-haired woman coming out of the kitchen closet and landing on the floor in search of food. She used the long stand-alike table to get down and it seemed like she knows everything about the kitchen and even with the lights off, she managed to do it very easily. But then she turned her face towards the camera. Of course, she didn't know there was cameras installed, or did she? Joe saw her face and was shocked to see that this face doesn't look like his girlfriend. Then who is she? Joe's heart was beating rapidly and he was struggling to take control of his breaths. Soon his chest started to pain. He couldn't even hold a glass of water when he tried to drink some because of the face he saw. He was still looking at the footage when this stranger was roaming into the kitchen without any worries as if she owned the house. After she was done with the fridge, she moved towards the pantry to get some more food for herself. But who is this woman who knows everything about the house and even Joe's sleeping pattern? The woman was collecting food and now Joe knew where all his food went missing. The woman then sat on the couch and ate some of the food like she owned the house, and nobody could dare point a finger at him. Joe slowly moved towards the downstairs to catch the thief red-handed, and this woman heard him coming, so she hid behind the couch and stayed there for a while. But what she did next is the most shocking thing Joe has ever seen. Joe took his time before he made his move. He decided to leave so that she doesn't know if Joe knows about the stranger living inside the house. Joe went back and began watching the footage of this woman who seemed like he had all the fun, was now moving toward her hiding spot on the upper cabinet of the kitchen. Joe blamed his girlfriend for stealing his food, but the footage showed some mystery woman that was staying in his house for God knows how long. Joe said on the YouTube video, so I kept on finding food missing in my apartment that I knew I wasn't eating. I confronted my girlfriend who lives with me about it and she claimed she wasn't eating it. Joe had no other choice but to call the cops. It's very natural to be afraid of something like this when you realize that there was some stranger living in the house and roaming inside the house, eating your food when you're asleep. Just imagine yourself being in a situation like this. We sure would be running for our lives. Joe calmed himself and dialed 911 to inform them about this mysterious person who had been living in his house for a while, which he got to know later. Cops told Joe that she had been living in his house for over two weeks, but to his relief, she was now in handcuffs. I have no idea how she got in there. The only way in is through the window, as I'm on the top floor and there's a fire escape, Joe said in the YouTube video. The police think she was probably coming in to rob me when I was gone and decided to stay in the crawl space. Supposedly, this isn't the first time the cops had come across something like this, Joe added further. The video, which you can find in the next slide, was seen by six million people. The video is scarier than a ghost. There have been some people who have said that this video is all set up and Joe made this to gain some attention as he was a struggling actor. Back then, when this video surfaced on social media on YouTube, we don't know what's true or wrong, but this video for sure will give you chills. It's up to you to decide if it's a setup or something real. There has been several other cases of intruders entering the house and living inside the house. You can read all about them in the next few slides. Back in September 1941, Theodore Edward Conies went to visit his very old friend Philip Peters. But Conies reached the house, which was empty because Philip was at the hospital due to his wife's broken hip. It was winter and Conies was feeling shilled, standing outside. He decided to let himself in. He saw a little door, which was an entry into a tiny attic room, and being little to small in size, Conies had no problem passing through it and eventually ended up inside the house. He thought of staying in the house because Philip was mostly out and it was better 
than living on the street, but on October 17, when Coney's thought Philip had left, he crawled from the little space to eat some food, found that Philip was in the house sleeping, who was now awake because of all the noise Coney's made. Philip couldn't recognize his old friend and Coney's attacked Philip and eventually ended up shooting his dear friend. Even though he didn't leave the house, police came when some of Philip's friends informed him about his death. The police were confused because the house and windows were locked from the inside and there was no sign of someone entering the house. The house was declared haunted and on July 30th, 1942, police finally saw Coney's face who was moving the curtain. He was finally caught and died in a prison hospital. Many of you might have heard about this intruder, John M. Dubis, who had the habit of stalking singer and actress Jennifer Lopez. He crossed the limits when he entered JLo's house in Southampton, New York. On August 8, 2013, houseworkers saw John roaming in the mansion and called the police. It was found that John had been living in the pool house for more than a week. He even posted photographs of the house on Facebook. Thankfully, Lopez wasn't there and Dubis was arrested at last. This man named Wang from Kunshin, China, found out that his money and food went missing from the house. He always makes sure to lock the doors and windows before he leaves for work. Finally, on May 29, 2014, he called the police when he was locked outside of his own house. The police found a hole in the kitchen and inside that hole, they found a man named Zhang, who has been living there for a while, eating and stealing Wang's and other neighbor stuff. In December 2010, this woman from Modesto, California, started to observe some strange activities in her house and was sure that her ex-boyfriend was behind all of this, but there was no sign of her boyfriend, Miguel Lua. But one night, she kept her mobile on the table and went to sleep to find her mobile missing the next morning. She called the police and they found Miguel had been living under some insulation of the house. He'd been spying on her, but was finally caught. Nine students from The Ohio State University were in shock when they found that windows, doors, cupboards door were left open when they used to wake up in the morning. The students started to investigate the mystery behind open doors and found that a guy named Jeremy was living in the house without their permission. He got the keys of the house from the neighbors when he told them he was one of the nine students who lived there. Soon they called the police and he was arrested. Velma Kellen from Yelm, Washington was left surprised to see the strange thing happening in her house even when she was sure that the doors and windows were closed before she went to bed at night. She started to smell a weird smell similar to a cigarette smoke. She soon experienced problems with the heating in her house, for which she called the maintenance people to look into. The maintenance people discovered a strange man living below the house, and surprisingly, her three dogs couldn't catch a mysterious guy living in her house. It's not clear for how long this guy was staying in her house, but it was over a year. Carlo Castellanos Faria met Michelle Fredenberg Onion in a hospital for the first time. Soon Castellanos, who was a valet, got obsessed with Michelle, a director of physical therapy, and soon this obsession turned into stalking. Carlo even made copies of her house keys and one day entered her house. He even installed a camera in her bedroom. Carlo was arrested and when police searched his house, they found six pictures of Michelle and a video of her first wedding, which he got from her ex-husband. This story was soon turned into a movie, Under the Bed, directed by one of the co-directors of the Blair Witch Project. This incident of an intruder entering and living in the house, which belonged to the Ferentz family from wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, happened in 2008 during Christmas time. Stacy Ferentz started hearing these weird noises, which she thought were made by her cats or by her kids, who play strange games sometimes. But one day she got really worried when two incidents happened on the same day, one in the afternoon and the other in the evening. It seemed like someone has broken into the house. Stacy found footprints in one of the closets, which were the entry to one of the attic. The family called the police and the police dig found a 21-year-old Stanley Carter who was wearing a sweatshirt and sneakers which belonged to Stacy. He was arrested and sent to jail for 23 months. This 57-year-old man from Kasuya, Japan, was in for a surprise when he found a woman living in one of the top shelves of his closet. She has been stealing food and money from this man for almost a year. This man called the police and she was arrested. She entered this guy's house when he forgot to lock the door one day. She managed to hide from this man for almost a year. Tracy was a single mother of five children living in Rock Hill, South Carolina. 
The incident happened in 2012 when she started to hear some weird noises which were coming from the attic of her house. She was sure that something was up there and one night when she was working on her laptop, she was shocked to see some of the plaster fell from the ceiling above. Alarmed by the incident, she called her nephew to look into it as she believed someone was up there. It was Tracy's ex-boyfriend whom she dated in 2000. Sam, a five-year-old kid, one night decided to sleep in her mother's bedroom with her. Sam was alarmed by the cat's voice and soon saw a large figure standing in front of the bedroom's door. He started waking up his mom and she was shocked to see an intruder in the middle of the night. She threw her son out the window and jumped herself. By the time the police arrived, the intruder was long gone. The police found some notebooks that had some names and drawings, a pair of gloves and gum wrappers inside the water heater closet. The intruder broke into the house in the day and waited for Sam and his mother to fall asleep. This 16-year-old girl was house-sitting for a close family friend when she heard some strange noises that were coming from the basement. She was smart and didn't go to the basement alone and call the cops. She told them about her situation and even asked them not to hurry as this could all be nothing in the end. The moment she hung up the phone, after a couple of minutes, four cops showed up on her doorsteps. Three cops went to the basement, leaving one cop staying behind for her safety. The police then brought this man out from the basement who was sitting inside the washing machine and was making weird noises only to lure her. The girl then asked why did they come so fast even when she asked them not to do so. They told her that the operator heard a second click of somebody else hanging up the phone. This woman was back from her 12-hour shift and straight away entered her bedroom to lie down. The moment she opened the door of her bedroom, she heard some movements under her bed and realized that someone is there. She said, damn, I forgot to lock my bike. She then exited the house and called 911. The police arrived in time and caught the guy who has a long sheet of conviction and was a convicted rapist. Luckily, she played smart even when she was tired of her 12-hour shift. This bartender returned home earlier than usual. He found his apartment not in the way he left it before leaving for his work. Soon he heard some movements in his bedroom. He didn't wait and exited the house in a hurry. He called the cops, telling about a possible intruder in his house. The police arrived and found a drunk woman in his bedroom. This woman was looking for revenge from this bartender who kicked her out of the bar because of her misbehavior. The police found her holding a long knife and a rope. Thankfully, the bartender wasn't drunk.